G'day guys, I'm out tonight chasing foxes. This property owner has been sleeping in the paddock with his sheep, he's lost that many lambs. Uh, he's only been able to do so much with a little 22 long rifle. So let's see how we go. As you can see behind me here, I've got the 6.5 PRC set up on the tripod. Now, I'm just in a little bit of an overwatch position here up on a hillside over his, uh, his loose and flat. So that's where he's got his sheep at the moment. Now, I just thought I'd sit up here, let the binoculars do some walking. I can see out to about 400 metres. So if anything comes out before dark, I should be able to reach out and touch it with that thing. Uh, if not, I've got the 308 with the Thermion on it tonight. I know I get a lot of heat about why do I shoot a small game with a 308 and unfortunately this trip my 6BR is out of action. Uh, I've spent the bolt away to be spiral fluted. So 308 it is. I'm pretty sure that will work on foxes though. We're back on the cold dirty bird. No luck sitting up on that hillside with the long range rifle. So let's have this switch to thermal. Dinner down. I've had a quick scan with the thermal. Fox out on the flats. So let's rip out there. See if we can get him on the deck. That's fox number one. Didn't take very long once it got dark for him to come out. I've just spotted a fox in his house paddock. Walked in there, a bloody car came down the road. So that pushed that animal right up the hill, couldn't get a shot at it. I've turned around to walk back towards the sheep. Here comes a fox over the road. You wouldn't believe it. There's another car coming behind me. So let's get a quick shot into this fella before he ducks back through the fence. That was all a little bit rushed before that car came down the road. Another dog fox, good stuff. I've got myself propped up here. And if you can see behind me there, I'm on the, uh, the pivot point for this big irrigation system. They call them a pivot, funny that. Uh, I've just got a bit of an overwatch up here. I'm about three meters up, so I can see down into the Lucent pretty well. Down the paddock there, I'm running the Icatech with a baby sheep in distress sound. I'm just keeping a bit of an eye over these paddocks at the moment. Nothing's turned up, but I'll keep trying a little bit longer, maybe another 20 minutes. That's pretty cool. You can see the water coming out of the irrigator on the neighbor's place with his scanner. Must be slightly warmer than the air all around it to show up in black hot mode, but see it certainly can. I've just picked up a fox moving out in front of me. It's still about 300 meters out. We'll go and see if we can catch up with it. Bloody fox out there in that kettle. Talk about a frustrating fox to shoot. This vixen here has been in amongst the cattle. You can see all those guys in there snorting and carrying on. Hopefully they don't give me too much grief and moo over the top of me. Uh, but yeah, I've watched this fox for about 25 minutes in amongst the cattle. Uh, can't shoot out there, especially with the 308. Uh, you're right there. Uh, yeah, certainly have to be careful of shooting angles with this cartridge on a small game but it eventually headed back towards me and then I think it smelt me so uh, it started to head back towards the cattle again I've uh, ripped a shot off I've hit it uh, just forward of its front shoulder certainly did a number on it but uh, yeah very frustrating indeed not a bad little shoot tonight I managed to get a few foxes off the property I hope the owner's happy with the result if you did like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel have a look at my patreon and I'll see everyone next time I've just picked up a fox moving out in this paddock. We'll go and see if we can catch up with it. Shush, talking here. Not a bad little shoot tonight. Managed to get a couple of foxes off the property. <clears throat>